On December 21st, 2024, in a 12 hour live stream, you managed to raise 20,000 pounds for the Rocking R Gaming Charity. This charity provides gaming carts on wheels for children in hospital up and down the UK. Today, myself, Jess and Johnny from the Rock and R charity took a visit to Southampton General Hospital to refurbish four existing gaming carts and donate two brand new ones as part of phase one for this plan. Watch me trying, emphasis on trying, to put one of these carts together. Straight through the desk. As well as find out exactly how much your donations to this charity directly makes an impact on children's lives. Towards the back end of last year, I saw a tweet from Dan TDM. In the tweet, he talked about how he donated 120 gaming carts. And below that exact tweet, Dan had gone on to tag the Rockin' R, stating that they have made these gaming carts and that they make a huge difference. Being an avid gamer myself, if I was ever in a situation where I had to be in a hospital for a prolonged amount of time, especially when I was younger, if I had access personally to one of these gaming carts, it would have been, excuse the pun, an absolute game changer. So I guess in that moment, my first thank you goes to Dan for spreading the news and awareness regarding Rockin' R. After seeing the tweet, I'd done my due diligence pretty much straight away. Did I say that right? I think so. I then reached out to Jess. I explained that I had a YouTube channel and that I was looking to support a great cause. Initially, I actually think that I offered to donate some consoles to see if that was allowed. But when it comes to hospitals, especially, there's a lot of rules and regulations, for example, like pat testing. And so because of that, I thought it would be a lot more beneficial to do a fundraiser. Later on, I actually find out they offer a refurbished program as well. Which by the way, the reason they offer a refurbished program is because unfortunately, even though these things are in hospitals, you get smashed screen, you get broken controllers, you get just random faults that the consoles develop. And a gaming cart that might have seen two, three years of constant use is bound to have some issues. So unfortunately, it's not as simple as just putting in a game cart and leaving it. There is a lot of maintenance. Then the live stream happened where we raised the funds and ever since that period I've been in contact with both Jess and Johnny. A few months had then passed but we had a plan. To go in to Southampton General Hospital and get these gaming carts A refurbished and B the new ones set up. There is an extremely unfortunate situation as to why the Rockin' R gaming charity was formed. If you do want to read more about this story I'll leave it as the first link down below in the description box. So the day began. We were given access to quite a big room in order to sort the cards. It was here I started to gain an actual understanding of truly what goes into them and how they work. At this point, I was also introduced to Louise and Tonya, who are both play leaders at Southampton General. Incredible people who spend most of their day making children happy. We'll actually hear a little bit from Louise later on in the video. Johnny then pulls this out, an absolute unit, which contains controllers, different types of wires, all of his tools, in order to set the carts up. I was really fascinated with this piece of equipment. Because the gaming carts get pulled around quite a bit and they only have a certain amount of slack on the cable that's supplied, sometimes that can detach the power lead from both the monitor and the console, resulting in no power. Meaning that the hospitals will contact Rockinara and say, this one's now got no power, when actually what's happened is the mains power cable has just detached itself from the splitter. These little brackets are installed within the gaming carts, strapped with cable ties around the power core to ensure that that doesn't happen. The controllers for the consoles are third party power A, but the price tag for them is pretty much the same as OEM. After holding one myself, they're actually pretty heavy and feel really good quality. Plus, they light up. Internally, the controller wires are then zip tied to the unit. This is again to ensure that there's no snagging on those cables. If there did happen to be any resistance on the cable pulling, you'd much rather the USB-C cable come out of the controller where it is detachable, rather than having a chance of breaking the USB ports on the console itself. Rockin' Art were kind enough to use the JDT community logo mixed in with the Rockin' Art to put onto the gaming carts. How cool do these look? The Nintendo Switches come with a 256 gigabyte SD card where all of the games are then downloaded from the internet. This was previously a 128 gigabyte SD card, but times have moved on. Same story with the Xbox Series S's is that they're now all one terabyte instead of 512 gig. The reason Rock and Argo with a Series S and a Nintendo Switch is because typically they're smaller, modern games consoles. Whereas you think an Xbox Series X or a PlayStation 5 will unfortunately not fit in the carts and they're a lot more expensive. So after a lovely jubbly chin wag and a bit of a tidy up, it was time to move the gaming carts onto the empty ward. 
and it was time for your boy to build one himself. This is where my handyman skills <laughs> I get embarrassed. <laughs> No, it's fine. I needed to unscrew a bracket on the side of the carts, which allowed you to plug in an ethernet cable to the console. Inside the carts, they've got like an extension cable for that. There was a lot of complaints from the hospitals that the Wi-Fi wasn't great. So Rock and R said, you know what? We're gonna go hard cable is back up. And you best know that I even struggle with that. Hey, look at me, there we go, we've done our first. <laughs> Lovely. So this is the ethernet part one, so it's basically okay. the same size. Oh, I see, okay. You said feed the wire through as yeah. well, right? There we go. Just like push this in. And you said clip this in. And then, yeah, so the middle one kind of goes under and they go like over, gotcha. if that makes sense. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. That's it. And then that should just pop on it. And then you put the flat one uh, and the bottom and the other ones in. And then on this bit, so you see these like four brackets here. Yes. Um, if you just like lightly oh do my, those. Okay, so that yeah. was, we got the hand tools now. Oh yeah, the we're side. on the big boy tools. Yeah. That's it, beautiful. Oh, okay, just losing that take away out, sorry. That's it, no, you're fine. You can't break it, it's all good. Perfect. Is that enough? Beautiful, yeah. So all it is, is we just put tie wraps here to like keep the, the cables tied in. Okay, fine. Yeah, yeah. Um, this little device is a right angled power connector. Never seen it before, but really cool. So you can obviously get a snug fit on the Series S. I'm going to say, do you feel confident joining some balls? Uh, <laughs> or do you want me to join a house? No, I can do it. Do you know what? You can I'm, do I'm it. after the challenge. Straight through the desk. It's all about the pressure, right? It is, yeah. It's, it's got quite a lot of pressure. <laughs> And then even if like you get that down through, just like pick it up. Look at that, beautiful. Is that okay? Gorgeous. A little bit more to the right. Like as far as you can get it, that's without it like kind what of splitting. Yeah. Beautiful. <gasps> Gorgeous. Don't worry, it's fine. It's fine. That's why we put this down. Okay, see? I see. It's all yeah. good. Look at that, do you know what? That's perfect. That's not bad, is it? That <laughs> one's a little bit, that one's a little bit hey, you know diagonal. What? But do you know what? It's handmade, Joey. Exactly, it's and handmade. that's what counts. Like they were manufactured. There we go, yeah, exactly. Oh, I've got you. Gorge. Look at and that. And then tie, tie it up, just so you got like a big loop. There we go. Oh, good. <laughs> Crush. <laughs> I'm giving you the best angles here, am I? <laughs> cool. Gorgeous. All How's right. That? Yeah, you can do the fun part. You sure? Yeah. You give me the honor? Right there. Gorgeous. And How's then that? same with the back. Yeah. Oh, I bet this is a real like unflattering angle here. Yeah. I bet it's horrendous. Oh, God. <laughs> there we go. All right. Yeah. Done it. So then, next thing. Yeah. So this plate, we're yeah. going to get basic okay. stuff. We've got this. This okay. is the sticking. Okay. <laughs> okay. We've done the shots. More so in my thing. I still don't think I'm going to be competent enough for this. But we'll we'll the tongue's out as well. There we go. I genuinely believe my daughter could do a better job and she's three. Straight through the wire. <laughs> now it's just a case of plugging all of the cables in, which I've really struggled to do. I don't know why. I don't know if it's because they were brand new consoles and I'm used to older stuff. It was really difficult to plug the cables in at these angles. And with a little helping hand, the car I had prepared is now made. I'll also come in and say at this point, the previous consoles that were taken out of the older game carts will actually be recycled and used in other hospitals that don't have any at all. Now it was time for the hardest and most stressful part of this build, putting the sticker on. Now that that super stressful part is done, let's hear from the lovely Louise. I hosted the 12 hour live stream of just fixing random electronics. And we managed to get together a few people, the community, other people who've made this happen. So how much of an impact are these Urbitron gaming carts gonna make oh, in the actual ward? They're gonna make a huge difference to the wards. We use them for a variety of reasons. One for distraction, when people are waiting for procedures to, mm -hmm. to be done. Others for testing fine motor skills mm -hmm. and cognitive awareness. We also use them for social skills, bringing yeah. patients together to actually the play together. The most Mario Kart and absolutely, other bits involved. Absolutely, yeah. because we have some children and young people that are in hospital for a long period of time, okay. um, sometimes six months up to a year. And obviously, especially the young people, the teens would normally be at home gaming against their friends yeah. and their yeah. peers, and um, they're missing that. And so to be able to give them something which is up to date, yeah. rather than our old 360 yeah. Xboxes. Nothing wrong with 360, nothing yeah. wrong with 360. Um, and very bad Wi-Fi here in the hospital yeah. as yeah. well, yeah. that actually having the games pre-downloaded so we don't have to worry about the mm -hmm. Wi-Fi um, is excellent. And having all the up-to-date games, 
is, it's actually a pleasure to be able to give them out and the, and the teenagers actually think we're a little bit more with it and a bit yeah, more, yeah. more up to date really yeah. when we offer these. <laughs> is there a fan favourite game do you think that you see a lot, a lot of people play? Um, or? Definitely FIFA. Definitely FIFA. FIFA oh, people is, like yeah, FIFA <laughs> is one of our, and Minecraft is, okay. is a big hit okay. um, and the driving games as well. I would like to say on behalf of the play team here and all of Southampton Children's Hospital and the children and young people that benefit from these. A huge thank you to you for putting the event on and for all the supporters that have backed you with them because the difference these are going to make is going to be huge, um, especially to the young teenage age group. Yeah, yeah. Um, obviously, there are games for all the age groups, but the hospital isn't very geared up for their particular needs and yes. they are growing up in a really techy world yeah. and so these are a huge asset to us and will be used constantly every day so a huge thank you to you and to everybody who has helped to fund them more than welcome thank you this is phase one. Only under half the budget that we raised went into this project. I'm super interested to see what happens next. This is something that was quite new to me as well, but I really thoroughly enjoyed it. The Rockin' R has managed to create over 500 gaming carts and place them in over 100 different hospitals around the UK. A massive shout out to Johnny, Jess, Louise, Tonya, and cameraman for making this day very, very special to me. Most importantly, thank you to every single person who donated on that live stream. You have made a difference to these children's lives thank you if you're personally wanting to contribute anything more to the rockin r i'll leave a donation link down below in the description thank you for watching